Little peepers. Hello, people. I am here to review Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. I'm here to review Guardians of the Galaxy. And before I review it, with all my movie reviews, there's gonna be spoilers. So if you don't want me to spoil this movie, even though this movie's been out for a week now, don't watch. You've been warned. But, um, I thoroughly gotta say, really good movie. I was shocked because, I, I'm i gonna be honest with you, I didn't know the story, I didn't know anything about Guardians, but I gotta say, really good movie. I mean, I mean, good pacing, really good pacing. For a two-hour movie, it didn't feel, like, boring. I was, and it was really funny. I was have I love movies that have a mixture of action and comedy. I like if they can mix it together. And I got it. It was really funny. Um, I'm gonna talk about favorite characters. Um, I like them all. If I had to choose one, I might choose Star Lord. Dude was badass. He was fucking hilarious. Between him and Rocket, they're both the funniest things about this movie. I'm not a fan of the end credit scene. If you haven't seen it, it's Howard the Duck. Really disappointing. I thought it was going to be something to do with Thanos, which he actually made kind of a cameo. And he looks badass because if he's going to, I think he's going to be a badass in the next, the villain in the next movie, in the next Avengers, I think. I could be wrong. I, I have to say it, though, that this movie was better than Avengers. Be I'm sorry, and I'm going to be honest. When I first saw Avengers, I don't want to talk about Avengers, but I guess I'll talk about it for a little bit. Avengers, I liked it at first, but when you watch it again... It's a, it's one of those movies that has a tendency to be over-saturated with action. They think that makes a good movie. No, it doesn't. With Guardians, you had great action, but you actually had substance. It wasn't just all action. I mean, and I feel like better pacing, characters were good. Batista did actually a really good job. I think him as Drax was the perfect role, you know? And the whole metaphor thing was funny to me. I love the references in this movie. They reference Footloose. I mean, um, and the villain, Ronin, man. Marvel, I've always felt in their movies, the villain it doesn't seem threatening. You just be like, oh, he's going to beat him in the end. But that's why I feel like DC's always beat Marvel in his better villains, in movie-wise. I feel like, at least with... I've always liked villains that it takes the whole... If it's like a team movie to, if it has to take the whole team to beat him i felt like with avengers let's be honest loki you did you actually think he you knew he was gonna lose with ronin it took literally the whole team to take him down i mean and he was a bad motherfucker i love like he was a good villain i think he was the perfect villain you know you felt like he could have won really um it, i say it's comedy action for a superhero movie which was kind of shocking um, I'm hearing they're gonna make a sequel, which I will see. Um, really, what else to talk about? I don't want to go through the whole movie because Zoe Saldana did a great job as Gamora. She was interesting. I think you know Rocket Raccoon was definitely my favorite character. He was fucking hilarious. I did I did say Star Lord, but I changed my mind. Rocket was fucking hilarious in this movie. I mean, you had great characters overall. It was great pacing. It wasn't like when you watch, you know how some movies where you like, you just watch for the action. Like Lord of the Rings, for example. It is the perfect example of movies I don't like where it's like when not all movies need to be all action, but when it's like with Lord of the Rings, I mean, I like Lord of the Rings, but it was kind of boring. Where it's like, when there's no action, but you're just like, oh god, this is so boring. With this movie, I was enthralled in all of it. Even in the talking scenes, I was enthralled in it. I mean, they all mesh really well. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the sequel when, when it comes out. And I'm hearing they might, in Avengers 3, collaborate, which would be cool. And I'm hearing Bruno Batista might fight Thanos. I would like to see that. Um... Besides that, I'll probably do a video tomorrow for my Wrestle Talk. So besides that, I would suggest if I had to rate this movie, I'd probably rate it a nine out of ten. Really perfect movie, I think. I mean, 
the ending, the only end credit scene kind of gave, it would have been a perfect 10, but the end credit scene kind of, but it went down a point, who cares, it's still a really good movie. So I suggest it, people, go see this movie. And um, tomorrow I'll do my wrestle talk. See you then. Peace.